Hi everybody, it's May 4th, 2020. Uh, I'm over here with my, uh, my uh, package experiment, one and a half pounds a piece. Uh, installed these seven days ago, if you've been paying attention to the video. I don't have any cap brood, uh, but I have allowed the queens to, uh, um, to get established, to lay, to have larvae. Um, and now is a good time before there is any cap brood to do an oxalic acid vaporization treatment. Uh, it's about, oh, I don't know, six o'clock or so uh, in the evening. And although it's, um, it's a little early to be doing it on normal days, it cooled off. So the bees are done flying. Uh, they're inside, but they won't be in a tight cluster uh, yet because it's not too cold. It's still, you know, hovering right around 50 degrees. So again, good day to do it. Uh, I've got my, uh, my Johnny O vape uh, vaporizer, uh, very inexpensive um, model um, you can get from, um, from Johnny O. Uh, if, you ever, if you're not familiar, you can YouTube it or, or um, you can go on B-Source and take a look and he sells them on B-Source. And uh, so we're gonna be using this. I bought some extra cups so we have you know, the silicone cups, and each one has the uh, recommended dose. I actually have two uh, quarter teaspoon um, amounts of oxalic acid in each cup to make it very, very simple. I have four hives, so I have four cups. And then um, I also over here have a portable generator that I'm gonna be using. It's a sportsman's model uh, generator that I got from Home Depot, I believe. So there's really not much to this. It's, I'm just going to be vaping uh, each of the colonies. I'm not even gonna worry about putting towels down. Don't really need to. Um, the vapor crystallizes pretty, very, very quickly. And even though there's residual vapor, uh, the acid actually crystallizes uh, on the bees um, and in the, in the box very, very quickly. So no real need for the, uh, for the towels uh, like you see in a lot of videos, but um, Let's get started. I'm going to go crank up the generator and uh, heat up the vape and, um, and we'll get going. You could hear the generator just kick in there as this kicked in. This will kick on to about 450 degrees. I've got my uh, my 3M. Uh, I believe it's uh, 6002 acid type um, protective mask respirator. Won't be long now. Looks like we have the shut off at 445. That's what we're looking for. That's when the oxalic acid sublimates, turns from a solid into a gas.
Okay, it's hit 445. I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit. Temperature immediately drops down to about 340 degrees and then it slowly rises back to let you know you're at the right threshold that you've sublimated all the material. This bottom board is a little long so I had to get an extension.
that wasn't so bad didn't take so long and uh, you know there's uh, you know when a package comes you know it's gonna have mites in it and uh, with no cap brood um, you know a good time to do it is you know like I said after the queen is established laying uh, they haven't capped the brood yet so everything is exposed and you can hit them all in one uh, fell swoop and they're not clustering either uh, you know they're, they're they're loosely packed in there so you're getting a good efficacy uh, across all the bees and uh, you know no need to do a acid wash or anything like that um, nine times out of ten any packages you're going to get is going to have a uh, pretty good mite, mite load and you're knocking it down until well until uh, you know midsummer comes around and and uh, or late summer and you have to knock it down again uh, with another form of treatment whether it be mite away quick strips or whatever but the colony will be much 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 larger by then so that's all there was to it nothing to it uh, till next time happy beekeeping take care and remember all beekeeping is local